ISIS warning, rapidly evolving jihadist threat in these holiday hotspots. ISIS militants have overrun an area of the Philippines as the number of jihadis in Southeast Asia hits crisis levels. Despite depletion in the ranks of ISIS in the Middle East there has been sharp rise in jihadi numbers in Southeast Asia, a region popular with backpackers and tourists. Southeast Asian nations will cooperate more closely with intelligence and law enforcement authorities from the Middle East amid grave concerns about an elevated threat from ISIS in the region. Representatives from Indonesia Australia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Brunei and New Zealand met in the Indonesian city of Manado on Saturday over the rising threat level. Met in the Indonesian city of Manado on Saturday to develop a response to the increased danger posed by ISIS. Each nation will face a massive threat if ISIS-affiliated terror groups grow, as will Westerners in the area, who are often targeted by ISIS. Describing the regional threat from Islamist militants as growing and rapidly evolving, a joint statement by the participants called for enhanced information sharing, as well as cooperation on border control, de-radicalization law reform and countering Islamists' prolific use of social media to plan attacks and lure recruits. Waranto, Indonesia's coordinating minister for security, said, We must face the threat together. The Southeast Asian nations are rushing to arrange an emergency response but the area has a history of failing coordination. In 2016 the British government extended its travel warnings to much of Southeast Asia, urging Britons to exercise extreme caution in public places. Now, there is a battle in the Philippines to regain territory from depraved Daesh fighters. Southeast Asia is a haven for backpackers making the most of cheaper living costs in countries which include Indonesia, the Philippines and parts of Malaysia, Thailand and Cambodia. In the Philippines one city is in the grips of terror after being overrun by terrorists which have pledged allegiance to ISIS. ISIS has occupied parts of the southern Philippine city of Marae as Southeast Asian fighters return from the Middle East. Marae, a predominantly Muslim city on the Philippines island of Mindanao, has been a hotbed of Islamist unrest for decades and a magnet for militants from around the region. After more than two months of intense fighting, is aligned militants still control part of Marae? Over 600 people have been killed, including 45 civilians and 114 members of the security forces. UK travel advice to Indonesia terrorists are very likely to try to carry out attacks in Indonesia. Terrorist groups continue to plan attacks and have the capacity and intent to carry out these attacks at any time and anywhere in the country. UK travel advice to the Philippines The Foreign and Commonwealth Office, FCO, advise against all travel to Western and Central Mindanao and the Sulu Archipelago because of terrorist activity and clashes between the military and insurgent groups. There's been an increase in kidnapping of foreign nationals, including attacks targeting foreigners and tourists since late 2015. Terrorist groups continued to plan kidnap operations against Western nationals in the Philippines. UK travel advice to Australia terrorists are very likely to try to carry out attacks in Australia. On 26 November 2015, the Australian government changed its National Terrorism Threat Advisory System. 
UK Travel Advice to Malaysia The Foreign and Commonwealth Office, FCO, advise against all but essential travel to all islands off the coast of Eastern Sabah from Kudat to Tawau, including, but not limited to, Langkayan, Mabul, Pompom, Kapilai, Litigan, Sepadan and Mataking. Tens of thousands of children are unable to attend school after being displaced. In Manila an ongoing war on drugs has seen hundreds of civilians killed. Islamic State has a dedicated military unit made up of hundreds of Southeast Asian fighters in Syria and Iraq led by Indonesian militant Baramsia. According to Indonesian police, there are 510 Indonesian supporters of Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, including 113 women. A report last week from the Jakarta-based Institute for Policy Analysis of Conflict raised concerns over the nations coming together. It said there remains deep-seated political distrust between the Philippines and Malaysia that impedes information sharing. After more than two months of intense fighting, is aligned militants still control part of Mari? Over 600 people have been killed, including 45 civilians and 114 members of the security forces. The government has said the other dead are militants. In 2002, bombings in the holiday paradise Isle of Bali killed more than 200 people. Jima Islamir, an Al-Qaeda offshoot, was blamed for the attacks, and since then they have been dedicated to establishing an Islamic-run territory, while Indonesian authorities have struggled to contain the group.